And the guys are working hard right now. They're uh, doing a good job of getting back into it after having a, a long time off and you know really having some practices last year, but you know not really having the season. So it's a lot of a lot of adjustments. If you look at it, we only have three guys that played significant minutes in the case uniform, in case Western uniform here. So it's a very new group. It's a very new group and a lot of moving pieces and trying to get guys through everything, figuring out if I say this, what it means. You know, you take stuff like that for granted because you used to having eight to 10 guys back that knows what, if I say what this word is, they know. And you know, now we're trying to figure it out, but they're working hard. We're, we, um, we're a tough group. You know, we have some very good leadership out of um, the grad transfers and our upper, our seniors. You know, there's great leadership right there and they're competing hard every day. Uh, the Cleveland State game was great. You know, it was a great opportunity. I, I like I told him after the game. I said, guys, of course, we're put disappointed in the end result, but you know, being down to five at halftime, missing a couple of easy shots, missing some foul shots, and just haven't played in so long. It's just nice to be back out there. I, I told them after the game. I said I was exhausted. I, at halftime, I felt exhausted. I haven't coached. And you forget the, the lead up and everything like that. So I, I can't imagine how they felt. But it was great to get that everyone got a chance to get in and get the young guys that never played before. It's a, that's a tough first year component when they return everyone in, from an NCAA tournament team and for grad transfers, they got the high level guys. So it was, uh, it was a great opportunity for the guys. We're extremely excited. Um, we got a chance to play against Cleveland State, which was I think the first game in like a year and a half for us. Um, it was just a great chance to kind of get our feet wet again. Um, a lot of guys haven't played a college basketball game yet because we have a ton of sophomores and a ton of freshmen, um, a bunch of like ambitious guys. And then we got a bunch of older guys that are kind of really anxious to get back out there again. And so Cleveland State was a great learning experience, but I know we're excited to really put things um, on the scoreboard and kind of get the real thing started. So we're really excited for the SUDAC tournament this weekend. We don't know much about um, Duclair right now. We're um, we don't have a, you know, they're waiting for some rosters to be posted, so you don't know who they're going to have. So it's uh, on Monday, it's actually kind of worrisome for us a little bit trying to figure out who we're actually playing against. I know Ohio Northern, St. John Fisher, they returned pretty much their whole teams and played last year. St. John Fisher, I think, lost in their championship game in their conference, and Ohio Northern had a good season, and they returned everyone. So they'll be, that'll be a battle. That first game's going to be a really good game. Um, you know, in our game, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, our guys to fight and battle, and you know, I think uh, the game will be a little bit slower for uh, us this weekend after what we had experienced last week. And, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it'll be, it's just fun to be coaching again. It's fun to be seeing these guys compete on a daily basis. 